Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, are you ready for 50 big money, unexpected bolos? Items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully source low and sell high. All right, you guys, so these items come from my, um, what I do is I share auctions, big money auctions, items that are on eBay that have a lot of bids or high bids. And I share them in my Facebook group. And what I do is I invite everybody to watch the auction with me. But I don't know about you, but when I post it, I check it out and I'm like, wow. And then I always forget back to forget to go and look at what it sold for. So in this video, I am going to share with you guys what the actual sold price was. Now, what's great about these listings is when I post them on Facebook, you can actually, well, one, you might find something that you want to buy if you're a collector. Number two, you can go into the listing and look at the photos. Um, sometimes there's like maker's marks or signed jewelry. It's a great way to learn. Um, a lot of times when items are going for big money, they are seasoned sellers, not all the time, but they know how to work keywords and titles and descriptions and photos. So check out the listings. It's a great way to learn. Okay, are you guys ready to see these big money bolos? Ah, let's check it out. All right, you guys. And I gotta say, I'm having way too much fun with these jewelry pieces that I've been unboxing. I've been wearing one in each video because it's all just sitting here from an unboxing video I did. And I'm like, oh, that matches my hat. I'm gonna put that on. So I actually might keep this one because it looks pretty cool with my hat. What do you guys think? The other ones I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be listing. So let's get started. Okay, so the First thing I'm going to show you is my Facebook group. And we are almost at 52,000 subscribers, you guys. How crazy is not subscribers, members, uh, YouTube subscribers, Bola Buddies Facebook group members. So if you are not a member, definitely come join. It is a great way to learn. We talk about Bolo items, but you can also post questions that you have, um, anything reseller related in this group. Okay. But this is where I post those auctions so that you guys can watch them. And I got to tell you, you guys, I was really slacking on posting. And I was like, you know, that's why I created the group. I really need to um, get these items back out there. So, well, that's odd. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. I actually shared this one in the other video. So for some reason... Um, I had it in both videos. That's so weird. Okay. Disregard. We're not going to do that one. It's in the other video. Okay. Quilts. Amish quilts, you guys. They can be not necessarily just Amish, but this one is an Amish quilt. And it is a Barn Star Prairie Star farmhouse quilt. So a lot of these have names. And if you can find the names, definitely use it in the title. Um, but people searching for quilts probably just search quilt. But look at this. How amazing is that? That is beautiful, right? People hang these on their walls. People use them. But they are very, very collectible. And a lot of them are going for big money right now. So definitely, um, if you find one, do your research. This one is vintage. And it looks, it says Amish. So maybe they know this one was Amish made. Um, does not have to be Amish made for it to be big money. Uh, people, I know like my grandma used to make these with her church, with the gals at her church, they'd go in and make these. If I remember correctly, I feel like I remember her telling me that. Um, and I actually had, I don't know, three or four of them and I put them in my attic and they got messed up and I threw them away. Yes. This is before I knew that they were worth any money. And I am like, Number one, I feel awful about it because I thought that they were damaged beyond repair. But now I see that people can actually clean these and like make them new again. I can't remember how bad they were. But anyway, I have a couple that um, I still have and we actually use. Um, so I do have some, but, you know, it is what it is. Things happen and, you know, I shouldn't have put them in the attic. Anyway. This one sold for $358 plus shipping. All right. The next item that sold 
It just ended. So let me pop it back open here. Now, I don't know if a reseller bought this or if um, a collector bought this. I don't know if there's any money on the table or not. Um, so if there's 100 pens here, it says over 100, but let's say there's 100. That's going to put you at $6.85 a pen. Um, a lot of them look really, really collectible. So there could be a lot of money here. It just depends. You really have to know because some of them are not worth much at all. And some of them can go for crazy money. So one thing I like to do when I'm searching or sourcing on eBay, and it does say some 14 karat tips, those are the ones that are worth money. Um, when I'm looking at this, trying to decide if I want to buy the item to flip it, I will go into see other items. And I will look at the seller store. This seller has nothing else listed. I'm going to look at their solds. It looks like most of the items that they are selling are in bulk. So this could be somebody that runs estate sales and they like just liquidate with eBay things that are small and left over. But they're not selling these pins individually. You know what I mean? Look, that only that went for 99 cents, you guys. Oh, that is the bad thing about auctions. Sometimes. I mean, it even says some 14 karat nibs. Oh, you know what? Maybe they had best offer on it and somebody sent them an offer. Because if somebody sent them an offer, it will say, um, it'll say the winning bid is what they listed it at. So I don't know. Um, I can't see if they had best offer, but that's something that could have happened. I can't believe that these would go for 99 cents. I just don't believe it. So I'm guessing that's what happened there. So there's a little education on looking up things to source on eBay. All right, here's another quilt. Now, this is a feed sack quilt. And when I think of feed sack, I think of like the real rough uh, material. I, I don't know what it's even called, like feed sack material. But I guess they used to make feed sacks out of cloth, which I did not know about. So this, um, I posted this in the Facebook group and some people made some comments. So I learned that. But look at how beautiful this is. Um, this sold for $440 um, plus shipping. I'm trying to figure out why they have a pin in it. Do you think maybe that's marking defects or I don't know. I don't see anything. Let me know in the comments if anybody knows. Um, this one is called Grandmother's Flower Garden. So again, um, describing the pattern in the title is very important. The next item is this Christmas stocking. And this one was listed by Lola's Trunk Treasures. Um, let me right here, Lola's Trunk Treasures. She is a Bolo Buddies member. So I'm going to give her eBay store a shout out. Um, if you join Bolo Buddies memberships, you will get a shout out when you participate in Facebook group um, activities that I do. And then I share those bolos in the video. You only get a shout out if you are a member of this channel. And um, memberships are for perks. My channel is completely free. Memberships are for people who want their um, eBay store to get a shout out or their YouTube channel to get a shout out. So again, um, I'm just giving her a shout out for that reason. So go check out her store, but she got this at an antique store and I want to say she paid two or $3 for it. These old dimensions, Christmas stockings can definitely be a bolo. They are not all created equal. You guys, you got to look up that number. There's usually a number right up here in the corner. This one is eight zero seven six. That's a great way to look at comps, but you can also put in the title, but dimensions do well. If you can find gold dimensions, those are even better. Some of those can go for hundreds of dollars. This one sold for $81 with free shipping. And again, she just picked it up at a little antique store. The next item that sold is this vintage antique oh so grape orange lime flavor tin non-porcelain thermometer sign. And this sold for $225.50 plus shipping. This here is a vintage Daisy Kingdom dress. You guys, these vintage toddler dresses can go for crazy money. This one went for $150 with 37 bids. I just cannot believe how white this item still is. Typically white items that are really old, you know, they start to yellow and have stains. This one is like in mint condition from the photos. So very, very cool. 
The next item is this Scooby-Doo lunchbox and thermos from uh, 1973. It sold for $270 plus shipping. The next item is this Transformers G1 Optimus Prime with trailer. It's from 1982. It sold for $135 with 51 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, here is another dress. Um, this one is Lilo, California. And I do have a video on toddler dresses that sell for big money. It is an older video. I haven't, I probably should do an updated video, but these seem to still be trending. Um, circle skirt is a great thing to put in the title. And what that means is this. I personally would use this as my main photo. Um, just because I think people look for the circle skirts, but definitely put it in your title and definitely display your item at least in one photo like this if it is a circle skirt. This sold for $212.50 plus shipping. The next item, slot cars, you guys. Some of the slot cars can be big money. Um, I have sold these uh, for parts and repair that I've picked up at garage sales and stuff. I don't know anything about them. I do know that some of them can be something you definitely want to bolo for. These sold for $449.44 plus shipping. And it looks like these are all untested for parts and repair also. Here is a vintage Lynch World Champion turkey call. And there's all types of calls, you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for these calls. They are not all created equal. Some sell for bread and butter and some sell for big money, but it is definitely something that you should be researching if you find it. And I always say, if you can get it super cheap, just buy it and research it when you get home because it's more than likely still gonna be a bread and butter. This sold for $490 plus shipping. The next item, vintage 1960s Mattel Barbie matinee uh, fashion. Now, these items, you can look them up in the catalog and they have an item number. Put that item number in the title. Definitely do your research. You will get more money for your item. These sold for $162.50 plus shipping. All right, these Kentucky Derby shot glasses from 1987. Um, yeah, these are just going for crazy money. Uh, this was the first year that the shot glasses were present and authorized by Churchill Downs. So, um, I think these are red 1987 is very rare, not often up for auction. So I, I don't think that all Kentucky Derby, um, shot glasses are going to be crazy, crazy good, but I did look up Kentucky Derby solds, uh, Kentucky Derby glasses high to low, and there are some really, really high solds. So get familiar with um, some of the glassware to look for because some of them go for a lot. This sold for $8.65 um, plus shipping. All right, WWF. Again, whenever I see these lots like this, I post them in the group. I like to get feedback from uh, people in the Facebook group about um, like maybe they see a particular item that is driving this price up. It's also great if you're a collector or a reseller, maybe looking to purchase things to resell. Um, not everything ends up going for crazy money, but typically the ones that I'm searching for have a good, um, they're they are at a higher price and that's why I'm sharing them, them to help you guys learn and to help me learn. Um, I mean, when I'm searching for these, I am getting so much education by trying to find these bolos. This sold for 301 and. 301 and 10 cents, free shipping on those. The next item is this Scream Ghost Face Mask. And the it's a member of the Bolo Buddies um, Facebook group sent me this. And they said they picked it up because of either my Bolo Buddies channel or this group. They knew that Scream Mask were a Bolo. I talk about them all the time. Um, I've sold, I think, three or four of them. But they do not... Um, they do not all sell for crazy money. It really, really just depends. Easter Unlimited typically goes for less. This is what the chin looks like. Um, these can be, depending on condition, this one sold for $71 plus shipping. They can go up to $100, $150. I think I sold one for $125. Um, I had a Fun World division and I undersold it big time. I think it was a Gen 1. So that was kind of like... You learn from doing this and you make mistakes. And 
Uh, if you can find a Gen 1 Fun World division, you could have like three to 500 and up. Um, those go for crazy money. This is a White Mountain vintage puzzle. And somebody told me that the vintage groceries, uh, White Mountain puzzles do well. This one sold for $152.50 plus shipping. Okay, you guys, this next one comes from Jack's Treasures. They are a Bolo Buddies uh, YouTube member. So I am going to shout out their um, YouTube channel. They do a ton of storage units. So definitely go check them out. And again, you guys, you don't have to be a member to share a bolo. So just send me your auctions that have bids. Uh, send me a private message and I will share them. That's free. Um, you just have to be a member to get the shout out. Like they're getting a shout out to their YouTube channel. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. This, the channel is completely free. And I'm happy to share your auctions in um, the Facebook group if you have one that has bids. So, all right. Here is what they sold. Vintage Stuck On Stickers Collection. And this is a sticker book. And right here, you can see it's got all of these fun little stickers. Now, this one is used, but you just never know. So they did auction style. They also put, I believe, yes, a video in their listing. So what's great about this, um, this is what I do also. Anybody that's on YouTube that is searching vintage stickers, they're going to see a uh, vintage sticker book and it's going to pull this up. Okay. So they can watch the video and they can be like, I want that. And then they go over to eBay and they can bid on your item. So advertising um, with YouTube is a way to get people to come and find your item that maybe doesn't buy on eBay typically. So they ended up selling this for $51 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage city service gun oil. Uh, it's an oiler, you guys. It's vintage and it's gun oil. And this sold for $401 plus shipping. Now, I will tell you that um, these old oil tins, the oilers can be crazy money. Definitely look them up. What it has on the front, the advertising can determine, help determine the value. Like not all of them are going to go for the same amount. Check this out. So this person is saying, check out my store. I've got more, right? All right. Here is another lot that could have been bought by a reseller or a collector. Um, I like to post things like this. The little blue and red dress on the top. I have sold that dress a couple times. Um, that's the only thing popping out to me. But I am not a hardcore uh, Barbie seller or Barbie clothing seller. I do enjoy it, but it's just so hard to figure out what the outfits are. But somebody who collects could scoop this up for $940 and they may still be able to make a huge profit. Some of those outfits can go for hundreds of dollars, but me not knowing and being versed in it, I, I don't know enough about it. So if you are a Barbie collector, do you see anything in this lot that's popping out at you as a big money item? Let us know in the comments. But this sold for $940 plus shipping. The next item is this G.I. Joe Adventure Team. Um, he is a talking commander here, but you can see he is being sold for parts or repair. And look at his hair. He's flocked. That is the, the word for that, flocked. Um, like the calico critters, they're flocked. So flocked items typically um, sell well. And he looks like he's a talking figure. All right, Vintage Bud Man Stein. This is a Stein, you guys. It sold for $190 plus shipping, and it is from 1975. The next item are these 1999 Vintage Nintendo Burger King Pokemon keychains. So super, super fun. Um, these items are from Burger King, you guys, and they sold for $203. So it looks like they've got the original balls and it looks like a pretty big collection. So 203 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage Deadstock Converse tube socks. You guys, if you can find the old athletic socks like this, they are a bolo, believe it or not. These sold for $72 plus shipping. All right, these are the Barbie wigs. So these go on Barbies, they're wigs. And I have sold these individually. Um, that's usually how I sell mine, anywhere from 15 and up. So they can be a bread and butter. But 
Um, this went for $63 and the buyer paid shipping. And they're from the 1960s. The next item is this WWF Undertaker shirt from 1993, dead stock, Hulk Hogan, $510 plus shipping. So you guys, WWF Vintage Tees, be on the lookout. Made in the USA. I don't know if it's single stitch or not. The next item is this Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Gold Key comic book, number one. And unfortunately, this first photo is really blurry. Um, all the photos are kind of not that great. You, I don't know. Maybe they didn't know how much it was worth. Um, $1,569.33. Let's go into the bid history and let's look at what they started it at. Um, $39.99. So they may not have known that it was worth so much. But see, look here. The bid history is like one feedback. And then the winning bidder has uh, 5,556. So let's go in and I'll show you a way. If you've watched my videos, you've seen me do this before. I'm going to go into the feedback and I'm going to put Scooby here. Now, it will not show up if they did not leave feedback. But you can see here that they did pay $1,569.33. Super fast shipping and extremely well packed. Thanks. Um, so that is one way to know that it was a good sale and that the item sold. So just a little reseller tip when you're searching solds. Um, the next item are some more Barbie fashion wigs um, from the 1960s. These sold for $84.88. And there's two heads here. Um, people will buy the heads. Um, also, you can sell these individually. I probably would have sold these individually personally. The next item is this uh, Big Jim 1974 wig. Wig? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I have wig on my mind. I don't even know why I said that. Vintage Mattel, Japan, Big Jim, 1974, still in the original box. How cool is that? $537 plus shipping. It looks like this item was located in Japan. The next item I sold are these American Optical 110th 12K Gold Filled Aviator Glasses. Now, these came from a member of my Facebook group. They sent it to me. They're like, I got this at a thrift store or a friend of mine got this at a thrift store for a buck. They gave them $2 for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they just gave a donation. And she said she knows nothing about them. And she auctioned them. You guys, they sold for $456. So there's information that is on the side. As you can see right here, it says all the information that's in the title. Definitely put that in the title. So they did a good job of um, photos and getting photos of every angle. And yeah, nice little sale there for a dollar pickup at a thrift store, right? $456 free shipping. The next item is this uh, Majolica. Mo Maj yeah, we're going to go with that. Oyster plate. It's an oyster plate. So there were people saying this was ugly and there were people um, that liked it. And this is definitely a piece that is going to have a certain market. Like somebody's either going to love it or they're going to hate it. But I think the colors are pretty. I love um, pink and green and like I just love that color combination. So I thought it was pretty. But the thing that's cool about this is it's for oysters. It's an oyster plate. And I don't know this brand or anything about it. But again... Let's see. I don't see any markings on the back. This is what I do. I go in and I kind of look if it's something that interests me. I'm not big on glass. So um, actually, Majolica, is that like the, the paint job on it or is that the brand? Let's see. Paint job pattern, I guess. Okay. So material, it's the material they have here. Production style. Hmm. I don't know. They may not know. But anyway, it sold for $255 plus shipping. The next item is this Paul Miller Curled Resting Red Fox. And let me, you can see right here, it's like etched into the thing. Anytime there's an artist's name etched into something, definitely look it up. This sold for $670 plus shipping. 
The next item that sold, I could not believe this. When I found it, I'm like, what? What is going on here? And then um, I posted it and it's because it is the double track. Um, so double train tracks. I think two trains can be on the same track at the same time. And these are a bolo, you guys. Sold for $203.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Barbie, Happy Family Pregnant Midge Barbie. Um, I have sold her before loose, not new in the package, but she has a magnetic belly that connects to her that's magnetic. And you can put the little doll, the baby, inside of the belly. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Anyway, I'd never seen it before, but I got it in a mystery toy box. And it is definitely a bolo. Professional Raccoon Trapping. So this is a vintage manual or a book. They've got book. I think it's more of like, maybe it's a book. I don't know, a manual or a book. But anyway, it's very, very old. And it sold for $60.38 plus shipping. So vintage ephemera in general, some of it can do really, really well. The next item are these rulers. And there are 20 of them here. And one of them has Babe Ruth on it. So I'm kind of thinking that's what kind of spiked this listing up. But this is just to show you guys that you never know what's going to be a bolo. These sold for $87 plus shipping. The next item are these antique Catalan marble elements of hangers. I guess they're a very rare color. Um, they're, they're wall hangings, essentially. And these sold for $4,500 plus shipping. And I think it's like a antique dealer or something like that that, that sells that has this up for sale. The next item is this French. Um, it's an axe, you guys. It's a really old axe. And when I posted this, some people were talking about the items in this person's store. And they had a whole bunch of antique and vintage um, stuff like this. And I think it actually says his father's collection. So 25 years of collecting. So this is somebody that collected that really knew their stuff. And this stuff is going for crazy money. $1,278. Um, you can see here, all of these items have bids. These are active auctions. And if you go into their solds, uh, let's go highest first. Look at this, you guys. It's a, um, a sword. Look at these. I mean, that is crazy. So the son, maybe, I'm just speculating, inherited this stuff from the father and had no, no reason that they wanted to keep it. They weren't a collector themselves and looks like they're selling off everything. Pretty crazy, right? The next item is this Gunny Sacks wedding dress. Um, it's from the 70s. Uh, Gunny Sacks is typically a pretty good brand. I have been told from people that sell vintage clothing that not all Gunny Sacks is created equal. So definitely look them up. Um, most of the ones I see go for big money, but I guess I'm not searching low solds either. So this one sold for $175.50 with free shipping. The next item is this vintage Unitron telescope booklet. So you guys, this um, would, I guess, be considered a paper product, ephemera. And it's from 1958, you guys. It's a telescope booklet, $112 plus shipping. The next item is this Polly Pocket lot. Again, I always share the Polly Pockets. Um, the vintage Bluebirds can do really well. A lot of times people lot these up for some reason. And I don't know if resellers are buying them or if collectors are buying them because you could definitely part out these little people. But you do have to be careful and not overpay. You really have to know the value of each item because at $305, you know, it's going to take quite a bit to make your money back. The next item is this 1982 Cabbage Patch doll, red hair, brown eyes, red dino print overalls. Look at the little dino overalls. How cute is that? So um, sometimes the outfit can drive up the price. I don't know if this is a rare doll. I don't know much about Cabbage Patch. I know a lot of them are major bread and butter, so be careful when you buy them. This one sold for $315 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage original Roly Poly Dixie Queen Cut plug. It's a tobacco tin, you guys. How cool is that? Um, so it's an old tobacco tin. Here, right here. Dixie Queen plug cut. <laughs> so funny. I guess that's some type of tobacco. Sold for $300.99 plus shipping. 
The next item is this antique color tin type Civil War era. Um, so it's a tin type, you guys. And a tin type, it, it's kind of like metal. It's tin. It's tin, I guess. <laughs> but look here. And there's photographs that are on them. This one probably went for more because it's military and there's a uniform and um, it's just a really cool like piece of history right there. So um, definitely be on the lookout. Not all 10 types go for crazy money. This one went for 743 plus shipping. Again, what is on the photo is going to help determine how much value the item has also. All right, here's another one that I listed. And I actually think that maybe a reseller bought this. Um, there's 132 here. So that's less than a hundred, I'm sorry, less than a dollar an item. So it sold for a hundred dollars plus 1830 shipping. Um, I mean, it's hard to like really like zoom. I mean, you can kind of get in there. Uh, I don't know, guys. Cufflinks, what do you think? Worth it? Not worth it? I don't sell a whole lot of them. I do pick them up here and there. Um, but it's definitely not my expertise. Looks like there might be some tie bars and stuff in there as well. So, but that seems like a pretty good price for that many to me. All right. The next item is mag antique magic lantern glass slides, painting photographs, life of Lincoln. Check it out. I don't know what these are. Uh, $465 plus shipping on those. All right, you guys, glow friends. These are glow bugs, uh, glow worms, play school from the eighties. These are a bolo. I have sold these before. I actually got some of these out of a mystery box that I purchased from auctions for you, her YouTube channel. It was a hundred dollar mystery box. And I think I got five or six of these. And I had no idea what they were. And I looked them up and I was like, Bolo. So I was super excited about that. Um, those are in my mystery box. Um, it says, I think mystery box auctions for you in the title. If you guys want to go see what else I got, it was a box full of vintage items. I learned so much about so many different toys. Um, I sold some toys that were broken and damaged and I still sold them for a really good profit. So check out that video to um, learn about more bolos. The next item is this vintage three stripe mesh Coca-Cola hat. I sold this, I didn't sell this. I, I, I did my what solds earlier, my what solds. So that was, uh, I misspoke there. I did not sell this, I wish I did. But it's got the three stripes that makes it worth more. It's made in the USA, it's vintage. This sold for $571 plus shipping. So when you're selling hats, you want to make sure to get good photos of the entire hat. Um, yeah, they can be a bolo for sure. The next item that sold is this vintage ruffled egg shape C's Easter candy box, lavender pink empty. Oh my goodness. Um, I just got, oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So one of my Bolo Buddies members just sent me candy and it was from this company. It has the same logo on it. Of course, the candy she sent me, the candy shop must still be open. I'm going to have to send her this listing. Anyway, shout out to Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop on eBay. She has one of the coolest um, stores um, eBay stores that I've ever seen. I don't know how she sources such cool stuff. I was looking to see if maybe this was her listing because she lists really cool items, but this is an old candy box from that company where I got the candy from. And I will tell you that candy was so good. We just, my husband and I just finished it off. Um, today I went to grab a piece this morning and I'm like, I have been telling him to take it to work, um, and eat some at work because I've been eating it like crazy. And, um, he took it to work and I wanted a piece today. So, um, but anyway, super funny story, but I can't believe it's that same, it's the same lady. Wow. So they're still open today. That is really, really cool. Anyway, sorry. I went off on story time there. This sold for $152 and 50 cents plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Barbie belt. Uh, Francie, 
It's a zigzag zoom. It's probably with that outfit and it sold for $40. You guys, this is a Barbie belt. So again, if you know what you're looking for, there is big money in these accessories and clothing, but you got to know how to identify it and figure out if it's legit Barbie or something else. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Come on over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Go under the featured announcements section. Look for the posts and you guys can share a screenshot of your Bolo and I will feature it in a Facebook member share Bolo video. So I have a whole bunch of those if you guys want to check them out. They're absolutely amazing. Um, just so many great finds from so many great resellers. So go check that out. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up and a subscribe button down below. Click on that. And if you want to get alerts when I post no, new videos, hit that bell and that will send you notifications when I post new videos. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.